Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are here for the first time, my name is Say. I am a fellow Love Nikki and Shining Nikki player, and I am here to teach you little tips and tricks, give my opinions on future events, and just guide you through the game. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and of course, hit the bell notification button to not miss any of the future uploads. So today I want to make a quick little guide about Designer Intel Hub, just to give you guys some tips, tell you guys what not to do, and tell you guys what to absolutely do. So without further ado, let's begin. Before we begin, I have 10 fantasy tickets and I want to see if I can finally complete this SSR blue set. I only need the hair and it's just not dropping. All of my friends have completed it and I'm just not getting it. So I don't know, let's just hope that it's going to be my lucky day today. I am not spending any diamonds on this. I am just and there we go <laughs> here we go oh my gosh I was starting to feel like this set just wasn't going to drop for me absolutely ever I have spent so many tickets and I have completed the rock girl but I have not completed this one yet so this makes me really happy I, I love this hair so much the color is beautiful but there's another okay so that's what we got Okay, we didn't get a single uh, reflection for the Caprico, you know, like the echo for the designer's reflection, but I'm happy I actually got to finally complete the suit, so yay! So obviously the very first tip that I'm going to give you is always, always use all of your 10 tries, all of your 10 investigations. By doing this, you will be earning these like blue little envelopes that we see on top right here. They are called mysterious clues and you are going to need them to unlock other designers. And one of those designers that I really, really want to focus on today is this one zoe so i still am working on it zoe the mercenary queen she is very very powerful to unlock her you will need to collect 118 mysterious clues now do this as soon as possible because like i already said in my previous video zoe is one of the most powerful blue designers reflections it doesn't really matter whether you are a v0 player or a paying player she is powerful regardless and you will need her especially in the arena we don't actually have that many blue reflections as of now so one of the reasons that Zoe is super powerful is because you can actually get her echoes a bit easier and then just continue to evolve her. By continuing to do her investigations, you can gather her echoes and again, echoes are kind of like duplicate designer reflections which are used for evolving. She is also obtainable through the Sea of Fantasy Pavilion, which is another reason why she is super useful. Right now, I'm actually stuck on a few stages that require a blue designer's reflection, and since I haven't yet unlocked the Zoe, I can't pass them. Like, that's just it. I can't move on to chapter 5, and it's probably gonna stay like that for a couple of days. So do this as soon as possible. Start saving your mysterious clues to unlock her. Again, you need 118 mysterious clues. So start right now, but not before you finish this video, okay? So as I already said, you only have 10 tries per day and you only get one mysterious clue per one investigation. So that means you're gonna get 10 clues per day and you do need 118 to unlock Zoe. So spend those clues very, very carefully and don't use them on anything unnecessary until you are done with your Zoe. So let us move on. I already said that you have to use all 10 of your investigations per day no matter what, but what I didn't mention yet is that you really should be careful about what you are investigating. So what I suggest is instead of just spamming all of your 10 tries as soon as the game resets, do your chapters first and use your investigations accordingly. So what exactly do I mean by that? A lot of chapters are actually going to require you to have certain items from designers. You obtain these items by doing the investigations for those specific designers. 
So if you go to do your intel stages before you do these investigation tries and then you're just going to figure out that you're stuck because you need to wait for the next day for your tries to replenish so that you can do the specific intel hub that you need. So I took an example, I am at 411 and for 411 you need to craft this hazy dress and in order to craft it you need two of these little bags which you get from Hells's intel column. As I already said, there is no option to buy extra tries, so even whales are going to be stuck here. This will greatly slow down your progress and slow down this wonderful, wonderful 7 days feature that we have right now. Let me just quickly go back. Oh my gosh, I'm so far into it. But we are going to, yeah, the 7 day tour, it is going to greatly slow this down too. And it's going to delay your rewards for a couple of days because you do need to beat some stages in order to complete these and you do need intel hub drops for that as well. If you are early in game and are still working on your chapters, only work on the designers whose items are needed for chapters plus Zoe, of course. There are a few other designers whose items are not needed for the story progression and, you know, spamming all of them randomly is just going to slow you down significantly. So let's see if we know which ones are those. I feel like, uh, I think this one right here the the orange one yeah i think this one is actually not required for the story at all so you know don't unlock her do not unlock this one either you can get this one from the pavilion as well so basically all of these that you have to unlock with these mysterious clues you don't need them for the story so save your clues only and only for zoe you can save these for later, basically when you are done with all the chapters and you're waiting for the game to, you know, update, then you can, you know, do these, you know, the rest of them if you want to, if you're a completionist, but for the early game, if you want to progress as fast as possible, just focus on the, you know, drops that you actually need for the chapters and just follow, follow your stages. So make your stages the main thing and do these designer intel hubs as the stages tell you to so that way you're not going to make a mistake and like spend all of your designer intel hub tries and only to find out that you actually need something from it to beat a chapter and then you have to wait until tomorrow so earlier i said that i was stuck on chapter four and i am because for the next chapter i need to get eight s ratings so i am actually having really low scores i barely got through this one right here i don't know how i got an a but i kept failing at it and i had to update like my caprico the purple reflection to be able to beat this as you can see i need a blue one i need zoe here uh, this one is a C because I also don't have a green reflection, at least not a good one. And this is a C here too, because again, I do need Zoe. So I need two more stages to be able to progress. So as soon as I get my Zoe and you know work on her, I should be able to beat these stages and move on to chapter 5. Now, if somebody told me this earlier, I would not be in this situation right now. So yeah, keep that all in mind, please. So let's go over some stages that require you to have intel hub drops and I believe the 2-9 is the first one that's going to ask you for one and for that one you are going to need Xin Yi number one. You're going to need his designer's reflection in order to beat that stage. It is required. For 2-11 you need Xin Yi 2 something from here i'm not sure what i think you need the broken jade for this one and i don't think you need anything else from shinyi too like i'm not sure that you need the socks and the shoes i just spent my intel on it and my investigation on it for no reason and i sabotaged myself because i had to wait for another day again and i think for three four you're going to need yishao no this is yishao two you're going to need yishao one for this one, you're gonna need the Magnolia Dream. And for 3 6, I believe you are going to need Yishao 2. So something from this one. I think the shoes. I think you're gonna need the shoes. I'm not sure if you need any of the other ones. 
I don't remember. Like, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna check, but I feel like I've checked and I think that the only thing I needed from her were the shoes. So again, I just spent tries on, you know, the things that I didn't need for the story progression. Now for 3-9, and I believe a couple more of them, I'm not really sure. You're gonna need this one. I cannot pronounce her name because I don't remember hearing it ever. Shin Yumo maybe, I don't know. But yes, and then we are moving on to 4-4, four, 4-5, four, four, and 4-9, and you are going to need these. You have to complete this because you do need these boots. So what I forgot to say is that you have to complete this one. So for this one, you do need all of the items for the story progression, and you're going to need two of these like golden jade little hairpins. And for 411, you are going to need this pink bag, the very first item from Hells. And that is where I am stuck. So I cannot move on to Five of One. And I'm not sure if you have to complete Hells. So I'm just going to keep auto investigating and doing this and, you know, gathering the clues because there really is nothing else I can do. I completed all of them except for this guy, so in case I do need him, I'm gonna have to start working on him. But the fact is you do unlock this one at 5 of 1. So chances are I'm gonna have to actually work on her from 5 of 1, and I probably don't need to finish, finish Hells. But since there is nothing else for me to do for the next couple of days until I figure out a way to increase my score to, you know, get an S on these two chapters, I'm probably just gonna be working on Hells. Also, if you do auto investigation right here, we can see it. You can just close it and go do whatever else you want, do your dailies, and then you can come back here to claim everything and all at once. Like, you don't actually have to sit here and wait for all of these seconds to go down for you to claim everything. You can do it, of course, but if you turn the screen off and even exit this place and go wherever you want, you can just come back later to claim your intel hub tasks that's all i have for you guys today i hope this video was helpful again i sabotaged myself a lot with the intel hub because i had no idea what i was doing from the very start because i didn't really play shining nikki on the chinese server back then i watched a few videos but i didn't really understand much until i started playing this myself on the english server and this was my experience so far and the mistakes that i noticed and that i suffered and hopefully it's gonna help at least one person out there save their progress <laughs> anyways if you have any questions or future video idea suggestions leave them in the comments down below and i'll see you in the next video